Hey everyone, Pinchy out here, and we're back with another episode with our Hunter 350 from Royal Infield. And on today's episode, we're finally going to get rid of these gross mirrors that come from the factory and upgrade them to some bar end mirrors. So let's get to work because this is Pinchy Al's Garage. Today's episode is actually brought to you by Hitchcock's Motorcycles on the other side of the pond in the world, in the United Kingdom. And because of them, this video is pretty much happening because of them. So thank you guys, because we're gonna get rid of these ugly bar mirrors, and we're gonna up, um, and I mean ugly OEM mirrors, and we're gonna upgrade to bar end mirrors. And the reason why we're doing this is primarily because these, these uh, single cylinder engines from Royal Enfield have a lot of vibration and these things vibrate like crazy just because of the rpms and they're literally virtually impossible to see through them so i am not going to be riding this bike until these are replaced thankfully rolling um hitchcock motorcycles got the products and they got what i need so we're going to be swapping them out so we're going to show you what to do next so i already removed one and i put one of the machine screws in here Look how beautiful that looks. It actually looks legit. So we're gonna repeat the process and show you guys how to do it. It's super, super simple. All you need to do is grab your mirror. Oopsies. Grab your mirror, turn it this way or lefty loosey. Turn it and making sure you have your hand on the mirror as you rotate it because you don't want it to drop and scratch your tank or break something while you're there. So. Don't be foolish. There's that, that mirror is now off. So I ordered their machine screw from um, Hitchcock Motorcycles. Just all the way down. Get your trusty Allen wrench and just get it nice and snug, okay? So now we're done pretty much with the first part of the aesthetics. Now we're gonna put some bar end mirrors that are much, much needed to fix the vibration, number one, fix your safety, number two, and you're actually gonna be able to see through them and it's gonna look better. So using a five millimeter Allen, Allen I'm gonna grab here and then, sorry if I'm in the way, but I gotta get this going. Okay, pretty easy and straightforward. Set this aside and then get your next part. So, we ordered this kit from Hitchcock Motorcycles. They're called Rear Mirrors. Uh, part number 92495. I don't know the exact model on how or how they come up. I just found the ones that they were available on their site and ordered them. So they come with extended ends. So you'll see here, these ends are much thicker than the factory ones. Let me bring out the factory one here. There you go. You see that? Much, much thicker. So the mirror actually sits on the end of this. They give you an Allen wrench in the box to tighten up the mirror itself. You see what size Allen it uses. Same size. Squeaky. So what you want to do is uh, loosen the Allen on here. Obviously you have this in hand. Slide this guy in. Put this guy over. So I don't know how am I going to set these up yet. Aesthetic wise, but we're just doing a generic install right now to show you guys how it's done So we can have them have them stick up like this 
Let's take down below. Ooh, they're tinted blue. Oh yeah. I love blue tinted mirrors. Oh my god. Yeah, very Euro. Thank you, Hitchcock. I, they didn't even state that on the on the website, but look at that. Oh my god, it looks so good. So Alan Bolt goes in there. So this is where you start making decisions on how you want things to look. Do you want the mirrors on the bottom? Or do you want the mirrors on top? I'm gonna try bottom first to see how I feel about it. I see a lot of people who do that. I don't know how safe it is. And I don't know if I can recommend it, but man, that looks really good. So once you have this mirror, I, I did the throttle side because I want to see how much it affects the throttle and it doesn't even affect it at all. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And now, yeah, that looks freaking ridiculously so much better. Now I'm hoping this stops the vibration that was so extreme that was coming from here because the arms were so long. And this is a CNC square piece. It should not have any vibration at all. So I'm hoping that's going to be really, really nice. We're going to repeat on the other side, same way we're going to mount it. And then we're going to show you guys pretty much how it looks on the bike from the front and from the back. So I already took off the end. bug me in Japan how much angle and blah 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 because now I gotta make sure everything's like perfectly centered and perfectly aligned because now you're gonna have to make sure everything sits you know the way you want it but right now since this is a really quick video a really quick install I'm not gonna be super attentive to detail on centering the mirrors yet But man, oh my God, it looks so good. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll show you guys front and back view. So this is the front of the bike. So the mirrors are now on the bottom. I might have to, I might gonna move them up. I really don't know the safety and how much visual I have looking at the bottom, but we'll check when I start, when I test ride tomorrow. And then let's see the other side. Wow. 
yeah. Night and day difference the way this bike looks. I am extremely happy. All you need for the entire DIY is a five millimeter Allen and pretty much excitement because that looks so good. I love it. Thank you Hitchcock Motorcycles from the United Kingdom for this product and for allowing us to make content for you guys. Peace out everyone. Don't, for, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and look down below in the description for the link to Hitchcock Motorcycles to order your bar and mirrors. Peace out everyone and have yourself a wonderful day.